1,000 points of orcs, bad moons clan culture. We're running a patrol detachment today led by war boss Bloodgut himself. Now his warlord trait, we don't have the points um, to spend on a relic, but we are going to buy a warlord trait, brutal but cunning. Still makes him pretty viable in combat. So he's got his power claw and a combi scorcher along with an attack squig. In the troop section, we have 10 Gretchen. They've been actually doing pretty good in battle reports lately, just scoring points, hiding away and scoring some points. So that's a good thing. We got the boys, Clank and Clunk, of course, all tooled up with their dread claws. No DACA for them. They're just charging up the battlefield. On the right here, we have a truck with five knobs, all with power claws. And they have the truck boys special rule. Now, you'll notice I did drop the DACA jet in this list. Normally, I have a DACA jet. So that was 120 points that we dropped, and we picked up a Big Mech with shock attack gun for another HQ slot. We'll have fun shooting that one off. It's swingy, but it's still fun when it hits and, and does a lot of damage. So that one will be good to add, just to try for fun. And then, of course, we have the battle wagon, and you'll see... We got the kill cannon up there with the Laba as well, just with some extra points. That's uh, that's what's going to be rolling, along with the Defrola. It's not a bone breaker, it's just a regular battle wagon, but it is glorious. And then in front of them, we have a unit of six Mega Knobs, all in one unit. Normally, again, with the reduced CP of Nephilim, I normally teleport half, you know, three in and then another three. But with just the CP points the way they are, we're combining them all into one. We're still going to teleport them. Still going to pay the two points to teleport Porta. But that's just the way it's going to have to go in this 1,000-point battle. I think this army is still pretty much optimized for 1,000 points. In my personal opinion, it does really well. Actually, one of the better armies on the channel, I think, right now. So let's see how it does against the Death Guard coming up. 1,000 points of Death Guard patrol detachment tonight. The play company is the Inexorable. We have... We switched out the Lord of Virulence to be a Malignant Plague Caster. He didn't take a Warlord trait, but he did take Putrid Periap for his Relic, which allows him one additional Psychic Power. He's got Smite, Gift of Plagues, Miasma of Pestilence, and Curse of the Leper. So that should give him some versatility to help out his army and uh, do some things throughout the game. Some mortal, mortal wounds against or, orcs against uh, you know is, is always a good thing. In the troops, we do have 10 poxwalkers. Now, last time we had 20, well, 19, but now we're down to 10. So they're going to have to pick and choose where they're going to go. A lot of the orcs have combi scorcha, so they could get burnt up pretty fast. And on this side, we do have five plague marines. I kind of despair... Sigil of Decay, a Blight Launcher, Flail of Corruption, and a Power Fist for the Plague Champion. In the middle, we have five Blight Lord Terminators, one Flail of Corruption, one Blight Launcher, and we chose the Axes, the Bubonic Axes this time instead of the Bale Swords. And then left to right of them, we have the Foded Bloat Jones. They have the Heavy Blight Launchers, beautiful models. Hopefully they can get some work done in this battle report. Last game, it was not going well for them and then the changes allowed me to take one additional plague burst crawler i'm hoping i'm hoping i can see their potential in this game if they can get first turn i think theoretically they can take down some orc units and really help this death guard stay alive a little longer into hopefully further further turns in the game because the orcs this particular orc list is a really good list for this uh, on our channel uh, it's super fast. I mean, turn one, they're going to be in my face. So I have to be able to punch some holes through their armor and then push forward you know, onto some objectives. So let's see how it gets on. I'm excited to learn some more today. If anything, it's going to look awesome on this board again. Uh, let's get to the battle report. All right, people, we have deployment, orcs and death guard. 
Death Guard actually won the roll off for attacker defender, chose to be attacker just to see where John was going to set up. The Orcs did pick this side of the table. If you watched the last battle report with Death Guard versus Grey Knights, this is the same battlefield setup. A few more additions added just to make the buildings a little higher, but that's essentially it. So Orcs are on this, Death Guard are on this side. We're playing Desperate Raid. So it is the, the short edges heading across. We have six objectives kind of staggered down the middle. Two in No Man's Land, two in the Death Guard, and two in the Orc. So let's go over Death Guard since I'm over here. On my right flank here, I have a photo bloat drone behind the building. We've got the Poxwalkers inside the building on this objective. Goes into the building. One Plague Burst Crawler is just behind here waiting to lob some shells. This Plague Burst Crawler is a little bit out in the open, but there really wasn't much areas to put him, and the Orcs do not have too much shooting. They have some scary shooting. The Big Beck with Shock Attack Gun, if he goes off, could be detrimental to tanks and artillery, but is what it is. The Malignant Plague Caster is back here, kind of centered. Uh, we have the five Plague Marines on this objective in the Industrial structure, getting that cover. And then the other floated bloat drone on the left flank, ready to go out and shoot some guns. And then in the teleportarium, we have five dash route terminators. So we're gonna swing over here to the orcs. On the orc right flank, we have a truck full of, bo um, not boys, uh, knobs, power claw knobs. They are Blocking in the 10 Gretchen, completely line of sight blocking on these buildings so we can't actually see into them. And then we have Big Mac with Shock Attack Gun. He's ready to jump up and shoot out these windows. Clank and Clunk, cold down the middle. You know where they're headed. And then the big old Battle Wagon with Kill Cannon, Lava, Death Rolla. It's got the War Boss inside his own personal transport. And then in the teleport, uh, paid two points for the big old blob of Mega Knobs. That's a scary unit coming in. They all have combi scorches and power claws. So that's that. As far as CP goes, orc start with zero because they paid two for the teleporta and one for a warlord trait. And the death guard have two because we paid one for a warlord trait with the malignant plague caster. So that's that. Let's get the roll on the camera for... First turn. Go ahead, orc. Big four, right in the middle. Oh, threw it off the table. Two. All right, orcs get first turn. I really wanted to get first turn on this one because this orc list is just fast. <laughs> so let's see how far the orcs can push into Norman's land and uh, ultimately call that wog probably in turn two. So let's get to it. Orc, movement phase, top of turn one. Big uh, big movement phase, you can see no man's land. Like I said, they, they pushed into no man's land about halfway. So where'd we go, John? So we got the battle wagon, he advanced up uh, 16. Yep. Uh, was able to tow that objective by abandoning this one. Yeah. Clink and clunk, move uh, six plus one for advancing. For both of them yeah double so, one on that so they're up there and then the the battle wagon yeah. or the the truck also advanced six so another 16 flying behind this building yeah and then uh, the big mac there through the middle window yep he went up three then over two he's gonna try to shoot that <laughs> tank down there we'll he's, see he's got the sight if he can roll the dice that's that so let's get in the shooting phase and uh, see how much damage John can do. All right, orc shooting phase. We only have one thing to do. The big mech that moved up into the windows is shooting across the way. Big 60-inch range at the Plague Burst uh, crawler here. Um, it is 50-50 uh, with the cover, so we're minus one to hit. And he did move, so it's another minus one. So we're hitting on sixes, but we got to roll how many shots? A D6. D6 shots. One shot. Uh, one shot. Okay. Gonna be a six, I bet you. And then you got <laughs> yeah, uh, strength. Strength is two d six. All right, so six seven eight. 
So, uh, six is a hit, John. Six to hit? Yeah. Whew! Oh, Oof, that's close. So close. All right, so that's it for shooting. Um, but the orcs did push up, so that's what this army list does. If the Death Guard can have a good shooting phase, I might put a dent in their advance. If I do not, we all know what's going to happen next. So let's get to it. Bottom of turn one, movement phase. Plague Burst Crawler moved out. This is the big turn here for shooting, so I have to try and dent some armor. Um, if I can remove some of that off the table, that would be good. So this uh, Plague Burst Crawler moved out. Um, these little trees were not actually playing, but the big trees in the middle are providing the one um, I just want to hit, uh, shooting through it. So ultimately, my main goal here was to get shots on the, either the Battle Wagon or Clunk, uh, which he has open shots with that, with his entropy cannons. And then same here, I shifted, trundled over um, Battle Wagon up the field there. Should have open shots. If I do select to shoot Clank and Clunk, it'd be minus one to hit, but still might be viable. Poxwalkers stayed put on that objective. The photo blow drone flew up here and has shots options uh, same thing over here we are kind of on our towers left and right the plague marines pulled back a bit because that is a truck boys unit of knobs with power claws and they can move 12 get out three move advance charge with their log so they'll probably get into me regardless but i just wanted to make that charge range even longer um, but we're still in range to shoot our blight launcher so that should be okay. And then the Malignant Plague Caster just shuffled back a little bit. He's going to cast some some powers. Um, and then we still have our Death Shroud Terminators in reserve for next turn. So let's get to the Psychic Phase. And then we'll head into the shooting. Death Guard Psychic Phase. Only going to cast one power. Um, Malignant Plague Caster here is going to 18-inch range up here. He does have line of sight to the... Uh, photo bloat drone so we're going to cast miasma of pestilence just to give a minus one to hit to him just in case there's some cheeky shots from the shock attack gun now i was thinking of casting on the plague burst crawler eh, may kick myself for not doing that but uh we're going to do it on the photo bloat drone so i need what did i need i need a six for miasma of pestilence let's see if i can do it John said these two dice are cursed, so I'm not going to roll that. I rolled two. I rolled one for those. <laughs> uh, ten. All right, so it goes off. Um, so that's that. Let's get to the shooting phase. And uh, like I said, this is the turn. Let's see how well I can roll. Death Guard shooting phase, bottom of turn one. Had to think about what we're going to shoot. Um, John and I were talking about just target priority and sequencing of what to shoot first. Uh, the main thing here is got to crack open like the truck, crack open positively the battle wagon, spill the contents, and then shoot it with the guns that are actually designed to shoot infantry. So we're going to start with the Plague Burst, more, uh, Plague Burst Crawler into the truck, and we're going to put everything into it. Uh, the ramshackle rule, you know, with the strength eight, we can, we can bypass that, and hopefully if we hit and we wound, we'll just rip through that truck, and those knobs will have to walk the rest of the way so that's the goal so let's start out with plague burst crawler number one uh should we do the big guns first let's do the big guns yeah so much damage you do yes so um with that said i think i will play uh this is the big turn again so i will play just thinking through it here the disgusting force on this for one command point i have four command points by the way in the shooting phase, when a Plague Burst Crawler model from your army is selected to shoot, until the end of the phase, each time that model makes an attack with a Plague Burst Mortar, the damage is three. So that should theoretically help me a little bit. So let me just put that there so we remind ourselves. And boom. And we're going to pay the one point. Actually, we already have that. So that's that. So two shots with the entropy cannons. This is the ones that matter. Let's get to it. Hitting on threes. Uh, one hit. You know, I'm going to spend a command point for the reroll right away. I got to get the the entry cans are what matters in this in this shot here. So come on. All right. So two hits. John's toughness is six on the truck. Yep. And the entry cannon is strength eight. So I'm wounding on threes. 
And these are plague weapons, so we're rolling once. Yes. All right. Very so good. Two, um, get through. It's minus four. Uh, that goes through? So it goes through the truck. The ramshackle is nullified because this is a strength eight, so it's D3 plus three damage. So fives and sixes here. Yes. Okay. So uh, one plus three is four. Another four is eight damage. Ooh. Yes, I am down to two wounds. Down to two wounds. Okay. So uh, let's go to the less significant guns here. The heavy slugger. Hitting on threes. All right. One hit. And heavy slugger is strength five, so it'll be fives to wound. Nothing. And that's not a plague weapon. So let's try to finish it off with the plague burst mortar. Big shots here. Heavy D6. Boom. Four shots. I'll take it. That's good. Start with some fresh dice. Yes. Um, so hit on threes. Because we have true line of sight here. All right, so three hits. And this is also strength eight. Is it a plague weapon? It's a plague weapon. To reroll ones. All right, so threes to wound, rerolling ones. Whoops. Throwing dice at John. All right, so one failed to get you. And this is minus two. Ooh, minus two. So I'm a six. Because you're at a four, right? Yep. All right. And this will do three damage because of the card I played. So. On sixes. On sixes. Orc saving. Nope. All right. So that will destroy the vehicle. Yep. Um, so that means, uh, let's see here. We have, um, John, if you want to get your, yeah, we got them right here. So you can get out three. After a roll to see if it explodes. Oh, yes, yes, see if, uh... So on a six, it explodes. Six explodes. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh -oh. It does! Uh, it explodes! I don't... Actually, the Gretchen are in the building, right? Yes, they are. Okay, so what does the truck explode to? Is it, it six inches? It explodes within everything within six. Okay, so let's swing around here and look, see if the Gretchen are up close. I don't know. You might have to put a ruler on that one, John. Let's see. Where oh, there it is. I would, I would think they're in. It's kind of hard. I think they are. At least yeah. the ones All over right. there. So they take what? D3? Uh, D3. All right. Each unit. Okay. Yeah. So they take what? D3. Each unit. Yeah. But not, so, the, not the guys inside. Oh, they, okay. they, they, they roll separately. So. so the Gretchen will take... So two, two Gretchen die from two that Gretchen. explosion. I will pull them from the side. <laughs> okay. As if the, the, the wall caved, caved in and destroyed them. All right, so for morale purposes, we'll put two casualties on them. And then if you want to, we'll do it on camera. You can disembark three inches, and um, here's a easy. Oh, thank you. Yes. Three inches out, and then. These orcs are going to try not to get <laughs> shot up again. All right. So they're going to go this way behind this cover as much as they can. So that was uh, that was a worthy point for disgusting force. Come on. On that plague burst mortar. So he's done shooting now. But our main goal was to get them out of that truck because they were truck boys. So they could move, disembark, call or call the wog, move, disembark, and then charge. You're going so five, right? A five guy. Yeah, five knobs yep. in there. And then you roll five dice, and you don't want to roll ones. We'll see. Might want to roll these cursed ones. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Just kidding. Five dice, no ones. That's two ones. All right, so two knobs. Take some shrapnel and fall. Is there a leader? Is this the leader? Yeah, the guy with the skull is the leader. All right, that's two. There's three left. All right, three left. So that means... Um, good job, Plague Burst Mortar. They lost two, so I'll put that right there. Remember. All right. So line of sight wise, the plague marines um, good getting out of the truck that way. On that, so let's um, let's have a think, and I got to measure up some Ooh. some ranges.
So next up shooting, just some measuring here. The photo blow drone is gonna fire down into that exposed uh, knob, mega knob, or not mega knob, uh, regular knob power claw unit with his heavy blight launchers. So that's six shots. Hit on threes. Uh, drop two, so four hits. Knobs are T5. And heavy light launchers are strength six, so it'll be threes to wound. Rerolling ones for plague weapon. Threes to wound, so drop one. Reroll ones here. All right. So six versus five. Threes to wound, we got three wounds. Mm -hmm. And blight launchers are minus heavy blight launchers are minus three. Goes through. And it's two damage a piece. What's uh they have four wounds a piece. Four wounds a piece from not for knobs? That's pretty good. No, yeah, four wounds a piece. Wow, look at that. Okay. So one guy's dead and one guy's half alive. Hold on. Or half dead, I don't know. This is the banner one. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh knobs. Yes, two. All right, so that would be th the three are dead. Does the sergeant have any more than two? Nope. All right, so they are wiped by the heavy blight launcher. Okay, so let's get to shooting over here. This Plagueverse mortar will fire, or Plagueverse crawler will fire entry cannons into Battle Wagon. Heavy Slugger into Battle Wagon. And we're going to do... Man. We're going to do... The Mortar. Let's do the Mortar on the Battle Wagon as well. Because it is Strength 8. Alright. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, everything into the Battle Wagon. Um, it's true line of sight because these single trees are, are just there for pretty looks. So, Entry Cannons first because... That's the big, the big gun. Hitting on threes. One miss. Strength eight versus T7. Seven, yep. Threes to wound. Oh, we got the wound. Um, entry cannon is minus four. Uh, it goes through. All right, so D3 plus three. Looking for five or six. All right, got two. So that's uh, five damage. Straight? Straight. Five damage. Yeah. And so he is down to 11. Down to 11. He's a big boy. All right. And then we'll do the heavy slugger. Might as well. Let's see if I can chip off a wound here. Hitting on threes. Nope. Drop three. One hit. And this will be fives. Nothing. And then the amount of shots for the plague burst mortar into. That was a deflected shot. Uh, two shots only. Hit on threes because this is true line of sight. Uh, two hits, strength eight, so three's the wound. Two wounds. Two wounds. And plague burst mortar is minus two only. Uh, so five up. Five ups. Stops one. Stops one. Uh, so two more wounds. Two wounds. So he's down to nine. Down to nine. All right. All right, not too shabby. And then just to uh real quickly john what's the toughness of a death dread death dread is six but let me double check yeah death dread is seven seven yeah so this photo blow drone is going to have a tough time cracking into because we weren't on fives regardless so let's just continue on the battle wagon so six shots from the photo blow drone up on the building hitting on threes Drop two. And this is strength, what did I say, six? Yeah, six versus eight, or seven. seven. It'll be fives. Come on, a lot of fives. Nope. So drop three. But plague weapon, reroll ones. Maybe get a five here. There we go. So that's one mm -hmm. uh, at minus three. So I think you're at a three, or start at two, three, you're four, five. You're shooting the death uh, the, the battle wagon. Wagon. So it's a six now. Six, okay. Six up. Oh, 
So another two woes on on that. Two. So what was he at? He was at six or not. He also has ramshackle with this. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So it's uh, reduced down to one. The yeah. entry cannon and the mortar. Um, right, those outfit those. Yeah. So, so now we're down to eight. Down to eight wounds. Okay. So I think that is uh, any everything I can do. Um, these guys, uh, the plague marines just were out of range with the truck. So they're kind of nullified. But I'll take it. I, I think that was uh, that was uh, at least clearing off that truck, which is probably the fastest. I mean, that's pretty fast too, but I don't know. So we'll see. Uh, I'm happy with the results. Um, no assaults for the death guard. Let's get into turn two. Uh, see the points here for turn one, and then uh, we'll start racking them up for turn two. Turn two orc, top of turn two orc uh, movement phase. Uh, the wog has been called in the command phase. So where do we go, John? So the battle wagon, uh, with, with the wog, the, the HQ, he got up three um advanced what was it two two only with a reroll yeah. yeah two with a reroll um he's gonna make eventually a charge on those pop walkers in that building yep he's got what a six inch charge yep six, six inch inches. charge to get to the wall there so doable the uh battle wagon moved up he's gonna take some shots into uh probably the the uh the uh plague marines mm -hmm. maybe the uh the tank, we'll see. Haven't really decided just yet. Uh, clink and clunk, they swooped over, grabbing this objective, just trying to get into combat as, <laughs> as much as possible. And then the uh, Meganops came down, teleporting. They're gonna scorch uh, the Plague Marines and then see if they can charge something. Yeah, but I, I want them, I want to get them off this objective as much as possible. Yeah, that was a big line of yellow bad moon awesomeness right there. It looks like a Blood Bowl game. Anyways, so no psychic powers. Let's get into the shooting. Uh, John's gonna have a a think, or are we good? I'm thinking of a think. We're gonna have a think. <laughs> See what our target priority is, and then we'll get to some rolling. Orc shooting phase, people. John's hoping to clear out some plague marines and possibly a four blood drone. So first unit to fire, open up is the big mech, big mech, big wrench into this floated bloat drone across the way. It's kind of trading shots here. Um, so let's see how many shots the big mech can charge up his gun with. He's got D6. D6 shots. Two, two again. Shots. That was the same as last time. Yep. Now we got to roll for 2D6 or strength. Ooh. Oh, boy. So that's the big one. That's 11. That's 11. So mortal wounds. Each successful hit does it, it inflicts D three mortar wounds on top of the uh, additional damage. Woo, that's a good one. All right, so we got two shots, people. Two shots hitting on fours because he's BS four, and he hasn't moved, and that just offers plus one to uh, save. So let's get to it. Whoa. Got one hit. Gonna reroll. I'm thinking. Gonna, he's thinking he's got. I want that. I want it destroyed. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be wounds. All right, so two hits. Mm -hmm. So it says it's two D three mortal wounds. Each successful hit inflicts D three mortal wounds. Okay, so two D three. We'll start with that, and then we'll get to the. That's two four four mortal wounds taken so far. Does it say in addition? Yes. Okay, so we got four. Um. Four wounds so far. I'm just going to put a four here. All right. And then for the two wounds of the actual gun, I have a five up invul demonic save. Stop one. I fail one. So what is the damage on the regular gun? A D6. D6, okay. I'm going to take this one. Get that one out of, that one out of here. <laughs> oh, I saw the six. I, saw I did the six see too. it. That's three. That's, that's not too bad. So seven wounds there. That is down to two wounds left. Oh. So close. That's pretty good, though. Might be able to do it. That was pretty good, Mr. Big Wrench. <laughs> okay, so next up, I believe John is going to see what the combi scorches do, right? Yes. They're range 12, correct? Yeah, I believe so. 
and you'll probably just do the combi part as well. You might as well shoot the guns, or do you just want to do the flamers? Scorches, I mean. Because you're trying to have one guy left alive, maybe, yeah. to get that charge? Okay. So it's probably just the scorches. Just the scorches. Uh, they are in the elite section. There we go. Boom. We got six of them. Whew. Six. So, should I roll a D6 for just the whole group? Six D6. Six D6. That's the understanding in ninth edition. It mm -hmm. used to be just one D6, and then you just multiply it. Let us know if we're doing that wrong. Oh, boy. So that's Pretty good. four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, eighteen auto hits. I'll stack these up for you. 18. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 4, 6, 8. All right. That's that. Toughness, uh, strength 5 versus toughness 5. You're right. So force, force to wound. All right. I want one to be alive so <laughs> I can charge you. I want them all to be alive. <laughs> Not a plague weapon. Not a plague weapon. <laughs> so so four to wound. That's about average, I would say. Maybe a little below average. Oh, yep, take that What's the AP on that bad boy? Minus one. Minus one. So with um Armor of Contempt. Armor of Contempt, we have our three up saves. John, I rolled pretty good. Alright. Uh only two fails there. Okay. Um, it is one damage a piece. One damage a piece, so one guy dies, right? Yep. So that's, I will pull, I will pull, who will I pull? Let's pull, hmm, let's have a think. Sorry about that, I had to have a think about what model to die <laughs> from the Black Baron Marines, because we have an icon in there, we have a sigil, so I took the sigil of Decay model. Uh, he is dead. So, um, so that's it for shooting on the Mega Knobs. That's right. What leaves you with the Kill Cannon and the Lava? Where are we um, going with that? Kill Cannon and the Lava are going to go to right here. Um, the drone up there. Okay. See if we can pick off the last remaining wounds. Okay. And I think the uh, the gun from my HQ will also go up there. Warboss Blood Gun. I got the range right. to yep. do so. I'm sure, I'm sure he does. So, yeah, we're... Uh, uh, you know, raising the guns as, as high as they go <laughs> to get to this plague. Using the using the terrain in this one, we don't normally get up in these tall buildings, which I absolutely love the tall tallness in 40k. So let's get to the kill cannon. You want to start with that one first? Kill cannon. It is a heavy D6. I did move. Okay. Uh, you're a vehicle, though, so... Oh, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Thank you. Yep. So it's heavy D6. Okay. Let's see how many... D6 shots. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, it's the big six, people. Six shots. Six shots, shooting like an orc. I bet you. What's your BS? Uh, you are down five. to. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, wait. You're down to your second bracket. Yeah, I'm still five. So, still five. Hitting on fives. Let's see how many of these six shots. Hitting on fives. I see. One. Two. Two. Two hits. That's probably all you need when you think about it. What's the strength on that? Strength eight. Strength eight, toughness. Seven. So you're wounded on threes. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. oh the dreaded Look at that. snake eyes. But this happens. It does. That's all right. Now I still have the lava. You need to come over to the death guard, and then you'd be able to roll, re -roll that. <laughs> Next time I bring my death guard. Right. We'll all right. Death guard versus death guard. The lava is launching some shells up at him. That's a D6 as well. Yeah, still has a chance to bring him down here. These are banned. <laughs> Save those for morale. Two? Two shots, Two okay. Shots. Hitting on fives. Hitting on fives. One hit. One hit. Oh boy. Got two wounds left. It is strength five. And five, so five's a wound. Rolls a two. No, rolls a two. So that's it for the battle wagon. Let's pull up the data slate for Warboss Blood Gut. He's got a combi scorcher. Up just on uh, the the the, the shooter part, not the scorcher, because we're on range here. But 
Um, three shots, because we are we are within docker range, I believe. Mm -hmm. Bad moons. So, three shots hitting on fives. Come on, blood gut. Hits once, Wound. and then uh, wounding on fives. Once again. Oh, oh I did I see it. Six. I did see it. All right, so the photo blight drone does live. He's kind of flying wobbly, though, because the shock attack gun is, like, just covered in warp energy. So, um, the big thing for orcs is charges. we got two charges going off. We need a 9-inch charge here, and then we need a 6-inch charge here. Who do you want to start with? We'll do the main one. Oh, Magnus. fight night here, people. 9-inch charge. You need a 9, re-rolling. And I am going to play. i got to play this. Yes. Um, I am the inexorable as far as the plague company here. So I'm going to play that on... Um, in your opponent's charge phase, uh, when a unit from your army is selected as a target of charge, till the end of the phase, subtract two from charge rolls um, made for any unit that clears. So they have a ferric miasma. I'm going to take one command point and put that away in there. So this will be, you're going to have to roll super high. I think John can do it, though. I need an 11. Yeah. All right. Got to do it. You, we'll got two, see. you got two chances at it. Got two chances. Let's see. Uh, two sixes. <laughs> All right. No. no. All right. Here. Look. We're, look at. We're down to this many dice <laughs> here, people. <laughs> These are good dice. These are bad dice. Okay. <laughs> two sixes. Let's do it. Five to six. Oh, That's a ten. Ten. Oh. Ten. That's a rough one. Sorry, John. That's all right. Ugh. And then uh, that would have saved. That card saved me, though. Yeah. It's one a good point. Card. One it's a point. Good all right. So war boss blood gut. Come on. He needs a six. He's bellowing loudly. He's in with an eight. So we're just going to slide him up because the Gretchen are actually right on the wall. Poxwalkers. Or Gretchen, yeah. Sorry, uh, Poxwalkers, are, <laughs> Poxwalkers are in this building here, so he's just barreling through the wall with his power claw and his trusty attack squig. He doesn't really have a name. We'll have to name him. All right, so let's get to the fight phase. Fight phase... Warboss Bloodgut and his trusty attack squig is squared off against 10 Poxwalkers. So Bloodgut's going to get go first. He has the Brutal But Cunning Warlord trait, so he will do some damage here, I think. Um, which is essentially any attacks that don't get to the damage step, um, he can re-roll those attacks and start over from the beginning on those. So he should almost, I would say, 90% be guaranteed getting 6 kills on this, and then his attack squig... We'll see um, what, what's what's there for that. So, um, six attacks with Power Claw, because yep. we have the Wog has been called, so it's plus one to attack. Yep, re-rolling ones. Re-rolling ones, okay. On uh, two. Uh, Power Claw is minus one to hit. Well, that's right. Yeah, so be threes. So on threes. Yeah. So the two misses. All right, so those will go into the Brutal Butt Cunning pile. Mm -hmm. um, and then you're, I mean, you're going to be twos to wound. It's times, yeah, I believe so. it's times two. Power <laughs> Claw is times two. Yeah, on T3. T4. is 12 right now. Yeah. He's beast mode. On twos? And on two, or wounded on twos. Okay, drops one. That one goes into the Brutal Butt Cunning pile. Okay. So these go right through me, but with the rule Unending Horde, I don't lose the wound. Uh, each time this model... In this unit would lose a wound. Roll one d six on a six. That one's not lost. So there's three. How many damage is a oh, two? Oh, two a piece, right? Yes. So if I'm doing this right, I have to roll two sixes to keep a person alive, a Poxwalker alive. Yes. So no, one's dead. Two's dead, and three's dead. So not a single six on that, which is it's a Poxwalker, right? So, uh, three Poxwalkers die. So then you go back and do Brutal Butt Cunning. Mm -hmm. Basically start over on that. So hitting on threes when you're on twos. Yeah, threes. We're rolling ones. Yeah. That's so a two. So one. we can get that one. And then uh, winning on twos. Twos, yeah. Oh. 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 Rough. All right. So then if I roll double six here. All right. So that's four Poxwalkers dead. And now we go to the attack squig, which I believe is two additional attacks. Two additional attacks. Yep. Is it still his DS? Yes. Oh, so this one is hitting on twos rather yes, than threes. Right. Uh, Chomping with his... Rerolling ones for these as well? Yeah, yeah, if he's got that, yep. 
All right, so two hits. And this is strength four. Strength four. So fours. Because I'm two four with the pocket. That's one. One. It is uh, minus one, but you get your six up discussed soon. One damage? One damage. Okay, yes. yeah, so no. That's another one dead, so it's four, five dead. So half alive, or half dead, as you'd say. Um, so that's that. Uh, could you go to the Brutal Butt Cunning real quick, John, and read that through one more time? I just want to see if the attack squig is part of the Brutal Butt Cunning. Each time this warlord fights, if all the attacks target one enemy unit, after resolving all the attacks, it can make the number of attacks of additional number yeah. of additional attacks against the enemy unit equal to the number of attacks that did not reach the inflict damage step of the attack sequence during the fight. All right, so we're going to play this. Uh, let us know in the comments if you play that differently. But my understanding of that is the attack squig isn't a model. It's a weapon, part of Warboss Blood Gut. So the attack squig, one of the his attacks right. did not reach the damage step, so I would reroll that one. Hitting on twos, wounding on fours. Twos and a four. All right. So that's a four. And then a six up to save. No. So that's six Poxwalkers dead out of there. We'll pull those um, at at the end here. But essentially what we're going to do, uh, just to see if I can't plug a little um, a little bit on uh, Warbots Blood Gut in return. The Poxwalkers are going to play Mutant Strain uh, for one command point. It's essentially an unmodified hit roll of six inflicts one mortal wound on the target in addition to any normal damage. But if I roll ones, I kill myself too. So, but it, you know, they're poxwalkers. Let's see. Um, they do get two attacks apiece. So you killed six of them. I have yep. four of them left. So that's eight attacks. Here's eight sixes, John. Oh no. You ready for that? Better not do it. Alright, so four ups to hit normally. Um Okay, so I got one mortal wound. Ooh. Um I did get uh one more dies um from the Okay. I'm gonna they, I don't know what they do, they like hit themselves or something. They probably would just blow up for the amount of just pus that's inside of them. Yep. So um so we got five hits. One of them is mortal wound, so I'm going to actually just put one over there for mortal wound. And then your toughness is... My toughness is six, but... Contagion. Gift of Contagion, it's now five. Ah, yeah, five. So, uh, so it would have been hitting on six, or wounding on six is now wounding on five. So here's five fives for you, John. That's all a lot of fives right, right there. All right, so that's three wounds done to blood gut. Um, you know, they're just improvised weapons, so there's no AP to that. So, so whatever. Four up safe. Four up safe. Oh. oh, he takes the three. Takes three. Takes three. And damage against them? Just one. Just one. Damage. Just one. So he's yeah. down to six. Or down to three from so, six. And then, so. Oh, no, he's down to two. He takes an additional one. He takes an additional one? So four total. Yeah, well, it's it's unmodified hit rolls of six inflict one mortal wound on the target in addition to normal damage. So you took three normal damage from my improvised weapons, yep. and then one six right. from that. So you took t four four total wounds in that one. So I'm down to two wounds. Down to two wounds. Blood gut took it. All right, Mr. Blood gut, and I got to remind myself to take six out of here. So I'm just going to put six wherever the six is. There we go. So that was a good card. Never played that one before. Yeah, that's a good pretty, one. Pretty happy about that. Even I mean. In a, Talk about 20 pox walkers in a unit. That would be a Woo! rough one. Yeah. You wouldn't want to charge into that. All right. So that was unfortunate for the orcs. Um, this Bruce. card really saved me. The the ferric miasma. I'm ready for your shooting. Uh, so let's get to the bottom of turn two, Death Guard. All right, Death Guard turn. Bottom of turn two, uh, scored four points for domination, being on these two objectives. John's currently on three, so denied me the, the more point thing. Uh, we both got a command point um, for the new turn. I'm going to spend it right away, though. Put that over here. And we're going to play the dead walk again. Uh, this is on a Poxwalker unit, the one that just got hit with six casualties. I roll seven dice for each three plus. They stand back up again. So, let's see if I can't replenish. But I can't go over 
my right. units. Um, that's six and seven. All right, three ups, people. I brought six back. Yep. There we go. So they are back on. I will put those on there, and then we'll get into the movement phase. Uh, so that was fortunate. Fluffy. Super, Very fluffy. Super fluffy. I like they that. They go down, and then they st just stand yeah. right back up. With a lot of moaning and groaning. <laughs> End of Death Guard movement phase. Had a really big thing. There's a lot of discussion going on here. Um, tactics, right? Yes. Tactics. So, what we did. Over here. We'll start over here. The Plague Burst Crawler moved up. Yes, we are facing down a Death Rolla, but what we want to do is open up our options to get some shots in on Mega Knobs if things don't go well in the shooting phase. Um, back up, right? Yes. If it goes well over there, Plague Burst Crawler is going to hit that Battle Wagon as hard as it can. This one over here actually slid just a little bit to have shots on the Battle Wagon and clean shots, full line of sight, no minus one to hit on the Mega Knobs. So he's in a good position there. Here's where the tactics come in uh, with our contagion rule of minusing our toughness. It's now a three inch range for the Death Guard. We actually advance the Plague Marines up to the front of this objective to be within three inches of the Mega Knobs, reducing their T5 down to a T4. Mm -hmm. Where the Plague Burst Mortars, the Entry Cannons, and the Mortar are strength eight. So we're running on twos on them. So that is beneficial. Plus, we're also going to be playing Curse of the Leper in the Psychic Phase, um, and that's a toughness roll, um, so increases our chances of doing mortal wounds with the Malignant Playcaster, which also moved up just a touch to be towing in on that objective, just in case things don't go well. At least we have an objective for one more turn. Up here, the Photo Blow Drones stayed put. Um, they are going to pour all their heavy light launchers down into those Mega Knobs. Again, if we can nullify the Mega Knobs, that'd be great. If we can nullify the Mega Knobs and the Battle Wagon, that would be fantastic. bonus. <laughs> that'd be fantastic. Bad for me. Fantastic for you. Um, Clank and Clunk over here, they're staying strong on that objective. There's, They are slower, so they might not get into the battle, at least for another turn, or they might just stay to be on those objectives. So I'm not so much worried about them right now. No, fair. And then a big, a big decision... It's a lot of points for Blight Lord Tournaments, right? But in a points-based game, I think nullifying one objective, these Gretchen, there's seven, six, six left on there, um, brought them in down behind enemy lines here, and you know we're going to get some points for getting on this objective eventually. We might not get it on this turn if we don't make a charge here, or if we just kill them all in the shooting phase. But we are denying John four points because he's currently on three if i don't knock the battle wagon off he's gonna get 12 if if i don't knock anybody off so that'll be a good points for the orcs um if i can knock the gretchen off he's down to eight points at least and then possibly four points so that's the plan people let's get to the psychic phase and see how well the death guard can do psychic phase we got the death guard we got the malignant plague caster He's going to be doing Smite first, and then we're going to do Curse of the Leper. So, yes. Um, let's start with Smite. Let's start with Smite. We need a five, right? So here we go. And John reminded me, um, I'm like a playcaster, if I roll seven plus, I do additional mortal wounds. Oh, I just threw one at you. Okay, that's a seven. All right, that's one mortal wound. So one mortal wound in addition to D3. That's two. So that's three wounds down. That's one. That's one Mega Knob down. <laughs> one Mega Knob down. All right. So the next thing. Slide. Take this one. So that was Smite. That was Smite plus the additional seven plus because he's, you know, seven is the number. Curse of the Leper is a Witchfire Warp Charge 6. I roll seven dice. Uh, on each of the dice results, that exceeds the enemy's toughness characteristic, which is now a four plus instead of a five plus. Um, we do a mortal wound. So here's seven. Exceeds. So I need five ups. Out of five ups here. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'll Quite take a it. Bit right there. 
So that's four mortal wounds. That's another dead. That's another. And then one's on two wounds left. And then one down is two, right? Yep. Two. All right. Where's my leader? Leader's right here. He's got the red, the loincloth in All right. Room. All right, so that's psychic face, people. I'll take it. That's two. That's I was, I was hoping good. for one dead. Two dead is bonus. So we'll put these aside. Crystal Leper, I like that. Um, hmm. Oh, did I even roll to get that off, though? I didn't. I didn't. Oh, you didn't? <laughs> yeah, we'll keep the result if, if it is. I, I got to roll a six or better. I roll an eight. And it's another more wound. <laughs> okay, so, so I guess... he's down to one wound. All right, so it went off. Sorry about that. I rolled an eight, so it's additional, and then all that happened. Yes, so we're just perfect. Ca catching up our rules here. All right, so on to the shooting phase. Uh, we're just going to get right to it. Um, let's start out with shooting of this photo blow drone down at the mega knobs. Six shots. Six shots hitting on threes. Uh, drop two, so four hits. I'll take it. And this is strength six versus toughest four because of the contagion. Yep. So we're wounding on threes. Rerolling ones. Rerolling ones for plague weapons. That's take one. it. That's a one. All right, so that's three wounds. AP? AP is minus two, I believe. Minus two. So that brings you to, uh, I believe, a four up. You got a two up save. Yes. Four up. Let me see. Hold on a second here. Minus three, sorry, my bad. So it's five up. Five up. All right. Cool. Ooh. All right, so it does two damage a pop, so that one wound guy is dead. He's down. And another guy's dead. And he's down. All right. All right. All right, I'm gonna rinse and repeat against, uh, we're gonna do this heavily wounded one, but it doesn't have brackets, so um, this photo blow drone versus that. Oh, John, if I can clear these out, this is, this be all right. <laughs> um, hitting on threes. Drop two, same result as last time. And then threes. Three more wounds. All right, three more wounds at minus three. Five up. Five up. Cool. Save one. Um, so that's one more guy dead. And I will leave the leader. The the leader of that. All right. All right, so that's it for shooting of the photo bloat drones. Now, these guys advanced, um, so I can only shoot assault weapons. I will shoot my blight launcher yes. from the unit over there. So blight launcher, I believe, regular blight launcher is two shots, if I have that right. Yeah, assault two. Hitting on fours, because I did advance. One wound. And this is strength six as well. So it'll be threes. We're rolling ones for plague. Wound. And that's minus two on a regular blight launcher. So four. Got it. All right. So save that one. He's angry. He's angry. Um, so that's that. Let's get to... Let's get to... Let's do the easy one. <laughs> All right, now, John and I have contemplated. John would not shoot. No, I would he, not. He, wants to, he would get the charge off and get on there. Exactly. But I want to try. I, I don't have trust in my nine or better dice rolls for coming <laughs> in on, 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 on teleporting. You've got to reroll. So I'm going to go against my uh, go against John's instinct here, and I'm going to fire, fire my commie bolters into um, the Gretchen. Okay. If there's one alive, I'll make, I'll try and make the charge. All right. But you'll probably pull, you know, from the closest. Yes. That yes. would probably be the worst, <laughs> wouldn't it? If there's one alive and my charge has increased to like a 12. And then you fail. And Even then... with reroll, I'll, I'll laugh. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's have a think. <laughs> After much debate, John convinced me that it's just not wise to shoot those Gretchen off because you're not guaranteed you're going to shoot them off. Yes, they are weak. They are weak. But if there's one left or two left, my charge is now increased. I'm not even getting on there. He's still, that'd be the worst case scenario. All right. Still alive, still an objective, and my charge doesn't go off. So I'm going to go with it. 
I'm going to go with it. I'm going to try and make this charge. I got one reroll. We'll see what happens in that, in that phase. So they're not going to shoot. And they can't shoot up here at the big mech because they're still closer. So they're, they're kind of nullified for shooting. So let's head over to here. So we have some shots to do. We have some decisions to do. I think what we're going to do is start with this Plague Burst Crawler. And he's going to fire his Heavy Slugger into there. Because why not, right? Yep. It's four shots. I might just knock him off with that luck. Entry cannons are going to go into the battle wagon. Mm -hmm. Actually, everything other than the heavy slug is going in the battle wagon. Okay. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. All right. All right, so heavy slugger first into the mega knob. We've got four shots. Hitting on threes. Dropped one. We've got three hits. Heavy slugger. I would say heavy slugger. That's, that's, you're an orc that's, that's an orc talk. I am an orc yep. player. Long time orc player, actually. Love playing orcs. Uh, heavy slugger, strength five. Your toughness four. Toughness four now. Because you're in the contagion range. So I need trees. So okay. one wound, and that is at minus, minus one. So, so three up? Three up. Good. good. All right, entry cannons at the battle wagon. This is a straight shot here, people. Hey, on threes. Oh. Wounding on threes. Three roll one. Oh. oh. One, 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 one and two. One and two. Come on, get one through. Oh, there's another one. It always happens. You pick that one up and you roll it. Oh, man. All right, so that was a bust on that one. That's all right. Still got your mortar. Still got my mortar. So D6 shots in the mortar. Four shots. We'll take it. All right, so hitting on threes, because we have straight line of shooting here. Uh, three hits, one dropped. This is strength eight as well. So you are toughness seven. seven. So threes to wound. Dropped one with a two. So that's two wounds. Two wounds? And that's at minus mm -hmm. two. Minus so two? There's a four up, right? So four up. No, five up, because I'm at a three. Oh, you're at three up save. Yes. Okay, I thought you were two. So five ups. Yeah. Five ups. All nope. right, so two, four, four damage. Four damage? Yeah. Is it? So you're down to eight. So you're down to four. Down to four, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's strength eight. The, yes, It nullifies perfect. the ram shackle. All right, so down to four. Almost. <laughs> now, if I were to be greedy, John, yeah. I would shoot the Plague Burst Mortar over there and kill it. Blow yeah. it up. The wagon? The wagon. Yeah. I'd shoot the heavy slugger at the at that guy and kill it. Then I'd shoot the entropy cannons at Clank over there and kill it. I know. I, I know. Would I, the, I, would, I would ignore <laughs> these two and just take these two out. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just playing. Um, so now we have to decide entropy cannons into that or entropy cannons into that. I'm going to do entropy cannons into that. I would and then, agree, yeah. And then Plague Burst Mortar and Heavy Slugger into that. Yeah, that's what I would do. But I do need that gun. You do to get if me I, off If that. I do miss here, because this guy, yeah, he could get into combat. That's very true. If you just allocated everything into the battle wagon, I think you have a guaranteed kill. Yeah. Deny me points. Yeah. And I mean, this guy will chop up what? Maybe a guy two or two or three. Yeah. Something like that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um. Everything into the bad wagon. I think I gotta do it. Alright. Deny some points. You wanna do the heavy slugger first? Heavy slugger. Let's see if you did it. Heavy slugger. Let's see if the heavy slugger can take off the battle wagon. Hitting on threes. All of them hit. Oh. Five against seven is fives. Oh, he does four fives right there. That's the blessing of Narcon. <laughs> heavy slugger is just a minus one, so. Minus one? Uh, four up. So four up? Yeah. That'd be funny. Four. Oh, filled one. Yeah, filled one. All right, so you're down to three. Down to three. Okay. All right, we'll do the plate burst mortar. Three shots. Hitting on threes. One dropped. Wounding on threes. Two wounds. Minus two, John. So you're down to five? Yeah. Five of us. Oh, it's, two fails. It's gone because that's four damage. Does it blow up? Does it blow up? I don't think anything's in range. No. no. All right. All 
right, so is that, the wagon gone? That wagon has been gone. I remember the days when we used to leave vehicles on the table and they would become terrain. I would still love to Remember do that? that? Remember that? Yeah. That was fun. We used to put some smoke on it. I would still do that. Yeah. <laughs> you suppose you could, just for the look of it. Yeah, you just ignore it. All right. For movement and stuff like that. All right. So I'm happy with that result. Orcs are not happy with that result. Orcs are sad. Orcs are sad. <laughs> um, so I think that wraps up the shooting because it really isn't... Yeah, that's it. So well done on the Death Guard. I'm happy with that. We'll see you over there, John. We'll see you over there. I think you got it. I think I got I think it. you got it. All right, so let's just move into the uh, charge phase here. So there's uh, we have an ongoing fight over here. Yep, which you're back to full strength okay. now. Which I'm back to full strength with the Pot Talkers. <laughs> Blood gut is kind of bogged down with that. All right, so this is it. This is it. We got a nine-inch charge from White Lord Terminators. <laughs> this is a beefcake unit versus not a beefcake <laughs> unit, but it's all about the points right here. Just so push them. Here we go. It's five. You got to reroll. I got to reroll. Stop rolling Let, bad. Let's. Uh, I'm gonna take these two sixes out of here. <sighs> Come on, don't roll bad. <laughs> Take it. Are we counting that? Take it. Are we counting that? Take it. It works. All right. <laughs> John's being a, a nice opponent here. So, they're in. John's gut instinct was correct. Boom. Now you're on the objective. Now I'm on the objective, and I shouldn't slaughter them. It'd be funny if I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> if you whiff, and they, if, they, if they kill one, you'll never live that down. Gretchen killing the Terminator. That would be sad days. All right, so we're going to do that fight first. And then we're going to swing over here, and yeah. it's my turn, so you'll get to fight first on that one. Okay. So uh, let's pull up the Blightler Terminator. This is actually, because this is a new army for me, this is the first time I've fought with a Blightler Terminator. Yeah. Because they absolutely whiffed on their charges last game. I also have Death Guard, but I don't have Blightlords yet. So this is You're painting them, me though, too. right? Yes, I'm painting them currently. Right. And then next up is Death Shroud Terminators. We're going to try some of those out with the Man Reapers. Although those are even more expensive, right? Yes, they are. All right, so Blightlord Terminators, we have three attacks apiece. Blightlord Champion has four. So let's do the Blightlord Champion first. Four attacks. And the Blightlord Champion, these have bubonic axes. Chose those this game. So four attacks, hitting on threes. <laughs> um, toughness of a Gretchen, is it two or three? It's three, now it's two. Okay. Oh, yes, yeah, Contagion, right? Yeah. All right, so hitting on threes. Bubonic axe from the Champion. Uh, dropped one. And then this is strength something good. I mean, it's going to be twos, right? So strength four plus bubonic axis is seven. So seven versus two. So two is only one. Really one is because they're plague. So that's three, and I think that's just three dead, right? Probably. Because that is minus two to your save. Yes. So three dead. Three dead. All right. And then we have three left, so we'll just remember. <laughs> yeah. And then we're going to do, we're going to give the kills to the Flail of Corruption. Each time the attack is made with his weapon, make two hit rolls instead of one. That, I believe, is six attacks. So it's base three times two. Here we go. Hitting on threes. Drop two. So four. Enough to kill him. And Flail of Corruption is plus one to my strength. So five versus two. Be twos. Yeah, they're dead. Because Flail of Corruption is minus go. two as well. All Where right, you? you told me. You told me. You told me. Gut Instinct was, was correct. However, yes. if I failed, it would have been <laughs> out here and you would have had that points. But that's true. it's a dice game, people, right? All right, so over here, let's do Blood Gut. Oh, um, Blood Gut's got... I think he has five... It's still the wog. It's oh, still it's the wog. Yeah, okay. it goes into the next turn, so... Uh, be six attacks, I believe. Six attacks. Plus the two for the. Yes. Um, attack squig. So I got your six lined up for you. Six here. attacks with the power claws. Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. Power claw. We're rolling ones. That's a two. Okay, drop one. That goes into the brutal butt cunning pile. Yep. And then this is eight versus twelve. four, or That's twelve eight. versus four. Yeah, so it'd be twos. Oh, oh! Come on, blood cut. All right, so two, Save your life. So two, it's two. Uh, I gotta roll two at a time because it's two damage a piece, right? All right, so two die, and then you get to re-roll your brutal butt cunning stuff. So twos again? No, threes. 
Uh, threes and then twos, yeah. Okay, all of them hit. Very good. And twos to kill. Oh. All right, so one brutal but cunning didn't get through. We got one, dead, two, dead, three. And I'm just doing this because it's two damage piece and six is ignored on the wound. So that's, um, that's five dead. Now we have Tex Quick hitting on twos. Yeah, twos. And then wounding on fours. Fours. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, one no, there. So that's six dead. That's what I killed last time. Yep, yeah, and then uh, if we're playing it right, Brutal Cunning does affect the text wig as well. Two so. and a four. Uh, four. Nope. Okay. All right, so six dead. I killed the same six last time. <laughs> they stood up and then dead again. <laughs> that's all right. Um, so I had six, and that means I have four. You have four left. Um, I did use this for a reroll, so I don't have no more command points. So I can't play that mutant strain thing. That's okay. So I got four left, two attacks apiece. Um, sorry, moving the camera here. But we have Poxwalkers. Bum, bum, bum. Where are you? There you are. These are improvised weapons. All right. So hitting on fours. Yeah, fours. We got two hits against Blood Gut. And this is uh, strength three versus Blood Gut's four. Five now. Five now? Because he's T6. T6, yeah. All right. Nothing. All right. All right. Blood got still around. All right. And then as far as morale checks go, um, we do have a morale check here. You want to do that on camera? Yes. You can. Let's do it. I um, have lost one, two, three, four, five. Five. Now, you do have two. You could auto pass, but I don't know if that's. I don't really. You could auto pass. I probably will chop up a couple of those Plague yeah. Marines. I think just for the sake of the game, I'm going to auto pass it. Because you lost six, right? No, you lost five. five. Yeah. So if you rolled a one, yep. you would auto pass. Yep. Um, what's his leadership? He's got a leadership seven, I think, as a sergeant. Something like that. Yeah. That would be a tough, tough yeah, roll. Yeah, leadership seven. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to do it. All right. So he, Jan's going to play insane bravery on Mr. Meganov here. Because he's angry. He's angry. He, he lost, lost the top of He lost his fellows in combat. But that's what orcs do. They like combat. So... Let's get the points chalked up here, and then um, we're going to score some points for bringing it down and grinding them down, um, as well as we're now on backfield objectives, so there's some additional raid supply lines and all that kind of stuff. Goes. So you'll see the points on the screen. Let's get to top of turn three orcs and see what happens. <laughs> And the, uh, all right, so we have Orcs, top of turn three. Uh, they scored four points for being on that clink and clunker over on that objective there um, for domination. Actually, no, they, they didn't score four because you have to be on two in this. Right. Yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, I am on two. No, no, no. I'm on one because yeah. it's being contested by your pockwalkers. Yeah, over there. Um, okay, so, uh, so no points scored yet, but John has a plan. So where'd we go, John? I'll move over here. So movement-wise, my my angry Meganom, he yes. moved five around. Yeah. He's going to shoot everything into the uh, Plague Marines, and he's going to charge into the HQ. Uh-huh. Just, and then, which one is this one? That's Clank. That's Clank. The smart Clank one. is going to go, oh, he's so smart. He's, he's going to go <laughs> straight into the Plague Marines, try to remove them. Yeah. And I'm trying to take that objective. I think you will. I think I think he's got this. If you can, if you can nullify, I think Clank's going to do a job here. I mean, that's a lot of attacks. Yeah. This one, I'm curious. Curious. We'll see. Yeah. Um, Clank over here or Clunk? Clunk just he's the dumb one. He's like, dead center he's on that one. <laughs> he's taking a little nap. He doesn't realize what's going on. Yeah. Um, and then the, my war boss, he's going to yeah. try to take those. Clockworkers down, get into the building, 
and take the objective. Yes. So my goal is to take the two backline objectives. Yep, which will score you three points for um, raid supply lines. So that'll be good. And then we still have our big wrench up there, yep. Big Mac. He's going to take a nice shot at that wounded uh, drone over there. See right. if he can pick him off. Yep. Because we got to bring it down, too. And that's a vehicle. So that's another. That's more points. So the orcs are fighting back here. Uh, let's see. There's no psychic phase. Let's see what we have in the shoosting phase. What do you want to start with, John? Uh, shoosting, let's do him. Let's do see him. how he does. All right. So we got um, D6 shots. D6. I'm grab the six. And John has one command point, right? Yes. All right. So D, D6 I want shots. this to be six. <laughs> I want it dead. At least if, there we yes. go. Gork, and then Gork two D six for its strength. Yes, two D six. Eleven. Yeah. That's what I want. Oh, it's five. Five. It's fine. Not too bad. That's okay. All right, so six shots hitting on fours. Hitting on fours. No rerolls. Oh, so too shabby. Drop two. Got four hits. Yep. And this is strength five versus toughness six. Yeah, your toughness five. Yeah, so that toughness seven, sorry. So it'll be fives. False hope. Uh, yeah, yeah, false hope. <laughs> On five. Still could do it though. I, oh. uh, again, you need the plague weapons. I know. Plague weapons are so nice. Big wrench. First turn, not so good. Second turn, really good. Yep. Third, Third turn, turn not, so not so good. It's a swingy gun. Yeah. But it's fun when it actually works. Oh, it's good. <laughs> All right, what's next? Scorcha? Kami Scorcha? Uh, Kami Scorcha and the other gun that I also have. Yes. So we're going to shoot everything. And this is going into the Plague Marines, right? That's right. Yeah. So the Kami Scorcha is a D6 D6 right? hits, yep. Another six I want. Uh-oh. Oh. Didn't answer you on oh, that's that one. Okay. Uh, so that's so one. one auto hit, and that's strength five, I think, versus five would be fours. Fours? Nothing. Okay, you this one's better, cursed. Yeah, we've sort of no put, longer put, using put that, that one over again. there. <laughs> uh, and then the shoot, I, you have to look up the shoot. I think it's, um, I think DACA 3-2. DACA 3-2, yeah. Yeah, so three shots. Three shots. Hitting on threes. Oh, no, five. Five. Yeah, orc. One hit. One hit. No rerolls. Uh, it six. is strength four. Yeah, five is the wound. Five. Come on, Orky. Nothing. Nothing. All right. I think that's it. I think that's it for yeah. shooting. Clank and Clunk are all tooled up with their close combat stuff. So, um, let's get into assaults. Assaults. Who's going first, Clank or? Uh, no, I want the Mega Knob to get in because I'm probably going to use the reroll for him. Okay, so angry Mega Knob charging I... across into the malignant plague caster. I think I need malignant. A five or a six. Let's <laughs> check. I need a six. A six. And then he needs three. a three. Yeah. All right. You got this. You got this. All right. You got your ego, too. So you got two trances at it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, so six. Uh, so six. There's a mega knob. He's in a seven or nine, I mean. Yep. And then we'll do clank. Yeah, clank's in. Double, oh. double one. <laughs> now he's good with a seven. So clank is in and angry boss knob is in. Boom. I'm curious how the boss knob will do in the fight against the Lightning Play. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. And then we have an ongoing fight over here. So, That's right. uh, first is first. Uh, who are you going to pick first? I only have one point, so I can't interrupt. Okay, good. Um, let's see what the Mega Knob does. All right, Mega Knob. He is the boss knob, so um, check how many. I think he's got three attacks. He has three attacks, yes. Yeah. Yes, three attacks. All right. Is still the wall? Still the wog, yeah, actually in turn two. So uh, I think we're playing that right. Uh, so we got four attacks. Uh, we have hitting on threes. Hitting on threes, he does have a mecha claw. Or what is it called? Power claw. Power claw. So it's on fours, right? Uh, as long as it says if it's minus one to hit. Each time this attack may strike one. Yeah, on fours. so hitting on fours. Hitting on fours, don't miss. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right, that's 50%. I'll take it. Right I'll take it. And this would be strength... Eight. Oh, wait. Did I use a reroll? Not yet. You could reroll. I'm going to use one reroll. Okay. Take that away. Uh, we said four, right? Fours, yeah. Don't <laughs> roll another one. <laughs> Might want to pick another dice. All right? Oh, it was a three again. Rerolls. Anyways. Um, two hit. Strength eight. Strength ten. 
Ten. Oh yeah, strength five on nines. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My bad. On twos. Oh yeah, I'll be twos. Cause I'm T five. Okay. On twos. No ones, please. <laughs> oh, there's always course. a one. There's always a no one. Ones. At least one. One. It is minus three, two damage. All right, minus three, two damage. I got a three up save. No invuls on the malignant. So, um, so it goes to minus two with the uh, armor of contempt. So yes. it'll be four up, five up. Roll the two. So Good. I take two damage. <laughs> Good. Take two damage. I go. am down to two. Half alive. Oh. Half alive. Hurry up and die. All right. So then the next it goes to Clank over here. Yep. We'll I'm rooting next. for Clank. I am. Clank, Mr. Clank's got four attacks, or um, seven attacks here. If we're playing that right, Dread Claws, he's got all four of them. So, so he's got base three plus four arms, seven attacks. Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes. Let's do it. Oh. Drop three. Why? Why do you do this to me? <laughs> Uh, strength awesomeness. It's um, yeah, strength ten. Yeah, strength ten. So it'll be twos to wound. Twos to wound. Oh my gosh, John! I don't know. I don't know what it's, I'm doing. It's never <laughs> use these ever again. Uh, it's three. It's minus three. It goes to minus two. And this does three damage a piece. So minus two. Uh, so be three up, four up, five up. I don't make a single one. It does. Well, it it's does. gonna kill each. One. It's gonna kill one a piece. So. Um, I'm going to take, piece, yeah. I'm going to leave the Plague Champion there. So that is that. Sorry, it's out of focus there. But Plague Champion is left alive and they are dead. Unfortunately, I did not knock you off that. No. Um, so back over here actually goes to my attacks, uh, because that's how it works at night, from my understanding. So we have four guys left under there, Pox Walkers. Two attacks apiece. Hitting on... What did I say? Threes? I'm going to roll and look. Do -do. Hitting on fours. Uh-oh. Blood gut safe. Two hits. And this is Blood Gut and be fives. Nothing. All right, so Blood Gut, finish me off here. Six attacks still. Six attacks. Hitting on threes with that power claw. Whoa! Let's go in the <laughs> butt gun. <laughs> uh oh, John's luck is failing. Uh, and then twos. Okay, so that's one dead, two dead, and then, yeah, go ahead and roll those. Once that's again. Two, two left, you can do it. Threes. Famous last words. Two. And two sixes. Yeah. I'll say roll double sixes here. Yeah. All right. So Blood Gut has taken the home objective here. Fortunately, this objective is still held by the Death Guard because this is objective secured yes. as well. So, uh, not horrible, but could have been better. I was hoping for better, but, I mean, I did knock you off yeah. one objective. Yes. I was aiming for two. Yeah. All right. So... With that says, does Blood Gut want to move? Well, uh, you probably don't want to move off the objective, so never mind. No. Uh, let me do my attacks back now um, over here. Go so ahead. let's do the Plague Champion first against Clank. He's okay. got a Plague Knife, right? Uh, no, he's got the... the uh, a Power Fist? Power, power Fist, yes. All so right. um, Plague Champion's got three attacks. Plague Champion is hitting on threes, but Power Fist is minus one, so fours. All right, so Plague Champion, <laughs> his arm doesn't work. Uh, so whiffed on the Plague Champion, and then we're going to head over to the Malignant Plague Caster and see what I can do to you. I have four attacks, and he's attacking me with a Corrupted Staff. Yes. Um, hitting on threes. Actually, not too bad. It's a Plague Weapon. So threes, people. Drop two. Strength is four plus three is seven. So three is plague weapon. Rolling ones. There we go. So two wounds on that, and this does D three damage. It's only minus one though, so you got three. Three up save. Up save. Don't kill me. Oh, one That's after one. one. All right. So if I roll five or six, he I, dies. He dies. 
Huh? Oh, he's got, got two wounds left. All right. So it was kind of a little drawn combat over there. But Clank did all right. I think Clank should have killed that last one. It's just... Poor rolling. Ro right. Rolling happens. Happens. Yes. We're both on two. We're both on two. So that, that's a kind of a little fun little fight over there. So let's um, tally up the points, as usual, and get to bottom of turn three. Orc. No, not Orc. Death Guard. <laughs> Death Guard. Top of Death Guard. Movement phase. Um, we did score four points because we're on that objective still. Objective scared. And we're over there with the Blight Lord. So we did have the domination of... Have to be on two yet. Um, so four points there. I'll, I'll take it. Uh, we did get two command points in this one because I am scoring a backfield objective. So that's a little bonus for the mission. Uh, if John is on... This one still, he'll get two as well. Uh, but let's get into the movement. Um, Malignant Plaguecaster stayed in combat. The Plague Champion fell back away from Clank over there just to get some shots in. The wounded Folded Blade Drone flew down here to be on this objective. The theory is Blood Gut hopefully will not be there anymore. The Plague Burst Crawler moved up out on... Not really anywhere, but he's he's encroaching in on this floor. He's going to get some shots in. This stayed put. Going to get some shots in. And then over here, last but not least, the since they are objective secured, um, and the mission says you can move off of it and still hold it, uh, they moved up, and they're going to charge Mr. Big Ranch up here. So that's the plan. Let's get into psychic powers. Um... We're going to do, first things first, we're going to do, uh, where is it? Curse of the Leper on um, the boss knob. So, closest enemy unit is the person he's in combat with. So, he's going to roll 76. And uh, remember, he's still in that contagion range. But we need to get it off on a 6. Do we get it off? We don't. Re do I reroll? I'm going to reroll. I'm down to 2. So we get it off on a seven, which actually does a wound. That's a mortal wound. So he's down to one. He's down to one now. So all I really need to do here is... Just need to do one more wound. Roll a one five. Which I rolled one five. <laughs> so, <laughs> so Curse of the Leper has taken its toll on that Mega Knob. He will then smite um, with his other power. He'll smite Clank over there. So let's get that off on a five. Goes off on a seven. So Clank that takes also does a mortal wound. <laughs> Clank takes a mortal wound and he takes another two. So three three total on Clank. And he has He has eight wounds. So he takes two or three? Three. So he's down to five. Down to five. Alright, so let's get into the shooting phase now. The shooting phase. Hmm. So what we're going to do, we're going to do, we're going to do this kind of around the corner here into Blood Gut. Closest. So six shots into Blood Gut. Blood Gut's toughness is what? Is he toughness five, toughness six? He is toughness six, but now it's five. Yes. Because your contagion is now increased to five or yeah. six? Yeah. It's either five or six. It's more than three, though, so... We're in range, um, so I dropped one, hitting on threes, so I got, out of the six shots, five hit. And this is strength six versus toughness five, five. because of the contagion. So it'll be threes to wound and re-rolling for plague weapons. So I dropped two, so that's three more wounds on blood gut. Three I'm, wounds? Yeah, blood gut does not have an emerald save. He does, he has a five of emerald save. Oh yeah, he does. Okay, yep. you're my bad. Um, He's dead tough. She's dead, <laughs> dead tough. Uh, this is minus three, so you will need your probably your anvil save. All right, don't kill blood gut. There's a five up, right? Five up, big time. <laughs> oh, he makes two. You got to reroll over here, John. You want to um, reroll that because yes. you got two wounds left, I think. Yes, I need to reroll that. This will kill him. Yes. Now, <laughs> what this has told me, if I reroll this, it will fail. It'll, it'll, yeah. So pray to Gork and so Mark. So I'm going to take this five. Yes. Yes. Reroll a good roll. Ah. ah darn it. <laughs> Alright, Blood Gut has met his end by the footed blight drone there. I'll just pull him off. Yes. 
and his faithful squig. So that's that. But he he did clear that objective. All right, shooting phase. Next up over here, we have this plague burst crawler. And he's going to fire into everything into Clank over there. So let's start out with the entropy cannons. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Entropy cannons hitting on threes because this is a straight shot into it. Two hits, five and a six. He's angry. Entropy cannon is strength eight. You're definitely not. What is the range of your contagion? Uh, contagion range is, let's turn three, six inches. Six inches, he's, he's within, so he's now toughness six. Toughness six, all right. So there'll be threes anyways. Um, actually, cannon's plague weapon, right? Yes, it is. So, we're rolling ones. All right, so that's two wounds on Clank. With the entry cannon is a minus four. Minus four, go through. Yeah, D3 plus three. This, these are the big guns. So that's six damage plus three damage is nine, plus another two is 11. So he is going. Does he explode? <laughs> Does he explode? Yeah, I want to kill your Marine. Yeah. <laughs> that could happen. Oh! oh. So close. All right, so Clank is gone. And then we're going to put everything into Clunk from the other Plague Burst Crawler right up the middle of the board into Clunk. It's an open shot as well. So we have... What do we have? We have entry cannons hitting on threes. Do I re-roll? Did I re-roll anything in this one? I don't think I you don't did. think so. So I'm going to re-roll. I'm down to one. Or did I? You re-rolled your smite. No, no, no. Your Curse of the Leper. Yeah, so that was in the psychic phase. So I got one hit so far. Do I rule this one? Yeah. So two hits. Um, and then, three's the wound. Rerolling one for plague weapons. Gotta love rerolls. All right, so that's another two that goes through you, right? Goes so through, it's, yes. Uh, so it's D3 plus three. Uh, that's five plus four is nine. And he's dead. He's dead. Does Ouch. he explode? Entry cannons are the nope. bane of dreadnoughts. There you go. I said. I have one thing on the board. <laughs> yeah. It's Big Wrench over here. He's uh, he's about to get assaulted by them. Do you just want to finish it off? Or? Yes, let's finish All it off. All right, so let's get the charge. I do have one CP left for a reroll. I rolled a six. What do I need up there? Three, yeah. You, I think it's Because you can fight from below. Yeah. So, so they're up. Uh, we'll just move... Move them up there. No, move them up here. Make it look epic. Make it look epic. We'll put yeah. the champion up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put the plague flail. Yeah, his back is against the wall. <laughs> put the plague flail up there, and then we'll just put this guy, because he's cool. These two guys are supporting down they're, here. They're stabbing through the floor with yeah. their, their axes. <laughs> so that, like, rust, death guard. It's, uh, I feel bad for Big Wrench, actually. <laughs> he's one of my favorite units. Um... We'll give it to the Plague Champion. Plague Champion, Blight Lord Terminators. We got four attacks with the Plague Champion. Bubonic Axe. Hitting on threes. Three hits. Toughness of a... Probably T5 for a... I would assume so, but let me look. Toughness five. Five. Now to four. Now to because four. Are within range. So three's the wound. One wound. Mr. Big Wrench. And that's at a minus two. Minus two, so he has a six up. Okay, six up. No in bone. No in bone. Six up. Six up. Oh, he makes it. All right, uh, let's do the plague, or the flail of corruption. That's six attacks. Yes, okay, and threes. Oh, wow. Missed them all there. One hit. And this is flail of corruption, strength five. So three is a wound you, right? Yes. Yes. T4. That's right. All right. So that's minus two. Minus two, five, six. I'm a six. Oh. Oh, <laughs> almost. Uh, two wounds on him. Two wounds. He is down to three wounds. Okay. And then we have three regular guys. Actually, no. The three bubonic axe guys. And then, actually, yeah, we get them all. We get them all. So three, we got three guys left to fight. So that's nine more attacks with bubonic axes. Threes. Drop two in that. That was a good roll. And then threes again. Three ones. 
zero ones. Yeah. Uh, so that's six wounds, John, at minus two. Minus two, so sixes. Sixes. All sixes, right here. Gonna do it. That one. The one. How many wounds do you have left? Uh, three. Yeah, he's gone. All right, John. That's a table. That's a table for the, the Death Garden. Now, there was a lot of talking about tactics. Um, as we said before in other games, John and I kind of going back and forth. And it's a friendly game, so we, we talk about what we would do and then what John would do, what I would do, and then we we kind of planned it out. So, yeah. so but that's the way we kind of like to play it. I mean, we're we're playing for fun. Uh, we're, we're learning. Like I said, this, this Death Guard is... John plays Death Guard too, so I'm learning the Codex. John's kind of building his Death Guard up as well too, so... Death Guard did well. Death Guard did really um, well. And very... I think it was important for allocating the the right gun to where it needed to go. That... I think that was the main thing. Agreed. Key shots. Um, I like the double Plague Burst Crawlers just because they are... I mean, those entropy cannons, if they hit, yeah. they're gonna. They're the best weapons they have, Death yeah. Guard have, in my, my opinion, for shooting. Fodered Bloat Drones. I'm on the fence about them a little bit. Yeah. They got a lot of shots, and they should do more damage, but I got to remember, they're not armor killers, they're infantry killers. Yes. Um, so, yeah. I like the, the, the Malignant Playcaster, way better than Lord of Virulence. Yeah. Having that psychic power. And he's cheaper as well. And he's cheaper. It allowed me to get, uh, with the redu reduction of the Poxwalkers, it allowed me to get another. And the, the Poxwalkers with those two stratagems? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And there was just 10 of them. Yeah. Just 10 of them. And they suck. They, they, they bogged down blood gut for two turns. So I would, MVP for the Death Guard, I got to give it to the Plague Burst Crawlers. They both did very well. Yeah. And, they, and they both shot where they needed to shoot. There's my dog. She's celebrating the victory. Death Guard's win. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's done celebrating. So. <laughs> um. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, uh, Plague Burst Crawlers MVP for Death Guard. Uh, talking through the orcs, I mean, it's just a big old pile of dead. You know? Yeah, it, it's pretty difficult because yeah. they didn't do terribly. Uh, right. Key things failed, but none, none, nothing really outperformed, I would say, in yeah. this game. Yeah. In past uh, orc games, certain things definitely outperformed, but this one is sort of a meh, I would have to say. I agree with you. I agree with you. The I think the main thing is just the Death Guard did fantastic. Yeah. It's nice because obviously I play Death Guard. Yeah. I, I always like it when I see it, my army play well. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah, it gives you hope, right? You're like, all right, I want to try that again. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The, we were, John and I were talking the, just with the Death Guard, comparing, if, you, if you're watching the last battle report, comparing, you know, the, the fight against the Grey Knights, um, the units that I had. That extra Plague Burst Crawler is awesome. The Malignant Plague Crawler is awesome. I think at 1,000 points, we're evolving this list to be a little better. So yeah. that's a good thing. I The Orcs, that list is still a very strong list. Yes. Um, yeah, I, I don't think I would change too much. You know, we, we took the Daka Jet out, and Nephilim did change some of the configurations of the Meganob units. But I don't miss the Daka Jet. Yeah, because our, well, last time we played it was Orcs versus Necrons. Yeah. And the Duck Jet didn't really do much. No. It picked off, I think, some Scarabs. Right. Um, so having having the Kill Cannon, yeah, it didn't really do much, but it was an extra gun. The The Big Mech is, is such a swingy, yeah. you know, the Shock Attack gun, but it's fun to play with. It did so well, and then two <laughs> yeah. times it did terribly. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, but that, that's what you do. That's what happens when you play orcs. It's orcs, yeah. I, lo I love that Big Mac. It is a... I don't think you see it around too much. At one time you did. I think it was a relic that you could take. Maybe you can still take it, but... Anyways, that's that. I don't know. MVP for the orcs, just because they did underperform. I'll give it to Bloodgut because he did take away that objective. He I'll was, give it to there. He was the one that made it. Yeah, with, he, that, with that Warlord train, yeah. I think that's... Yeah, put him over. I, yeah. Actually, I'll say he outperformed. Yeah. He he said, I don't care if anybody else is going to make these charges. He just left his battle wagon and was like, I'm going for it. And he did it. He got in there. Killed some pock walkers yeah. and then get shot in the back. A little frustrated, but they're going to they're gonna stitch him back together back at uh, yeah. base camp. So, All right, John, that was uh, 
That was a fun one. That was it was it was very tactical. Mm -hmm. I, I think the last couple battle reports it didn't feel as tactical. Um, this sure. one felt a little bit more. We, we I, I guess we thought it through a little, yeah. <laughs> a little bit more, <laughs> uh, but it's fun. It's fun to play those kind of games where you kind of just chat amongst each other and and figure out the the tactics. So let's uh, we'll we'll recap it at the end here. But um, that's another one for the books. Death Guard victory. Uh, let's get to the next battle report. Big victory for the Death Guard. Happy for the victory. Uh, unfortunately for the Orcs, they just couldn't get to grips with the Death Guard. The Death Guard were, were peeling them back turn by turn. Uh, John and I spent a lot of talking about, you know, what to shoot first, uh, both, you know, what units to shoot with and then what units to shoot at. And I think ultimately, it, you know, it worked out. The Plague Burst Crawlers were absolute aces. I got to see their potential finally on the, on the shooting. I'm glad I took two. Um, the entry cannons are where it's at, though. I mean, the Plague Burst Mortars are awesome, but entry cannons, I mean, especially against Orcs, it just rips right through the armor and the high damage output is just insane. So they are aces. Uh, MVP of the match for sure. Uh, the Florida Blow Jones, you got to use them, I think, to, to just hit infantry. Even then, though... Again, I'm not too happy with the reliability of their shooting. Uh, they're they're quick. They're quick, and, they, you know, they did stick around. Um, so we're going to see on that. I, I do want to try the flesh mower option, you know, maybe get them up upfield and, and get some charges. Again, but their flesh mowers are for infantry as well. So whether you're taking infantry out in the shooting phase or the close combat phase, we shall see. But i got to pick up one more of those and then get those painted up to, to try that out. But overall, I like the list. The Poxmarkers actually, for 10 of them, they stuck around. They actually did a good job holding that objective against Bloodgut. So, and, and they you know brought them down to two wounds, which was, which was really good. Uh, deployment of the Orcs. We were talking a little bit about you know having the, the truck with the knobs in it offset from the, from the starting line, the deployment line, and then same with the battle wagon. It may have taken the Orcs just a touch too long to get into the Death Guard, but I don't know with the... The way the terrain was set up, I just don't know if it would have been that much of a difference in this particular battle port. So, yeah, so that's that. I mean, happy happy to see, again, the, the Death Guard. Uh, this is the second um, foray of my Death Guard army. Still learning the Codex, but I we, we you know definitely found some good stratagems in, in there. Um, so looking forward to playing again. I do like this 1,000-point army. We'll see what we're going to tweak with this. I like the Malignant Playcaster. Absolute um good addition to this a thousand point army the over the lord of your just points wise at these smaller points and the you know the the um psychic phase you actually get to do some things which actually was very beneficial the he, he had two kind of attacky things and then you know the miasma pestilence and all that kind of stuff helped out too the orc list dropping the docket jet adding the the big mech it was more of a fun thing to do I don't know. We'll have to play with that a little bit more. I think there's other things we can add to the orc list uh, instead of maybe Big Wrench, uh, Big Neck, Big Wrench, even though he's fun to play with. And the Kill Cannon, I mean, looks cool on the model, but mm, I've never been a, a Kill Cannon fan on, on Battle Wagon. They usually just run a Battle Wagon with the Death Rollo. So things to look at the orc list, but I, I really do think that orc list is, is optimized pretty good. Uh, it does get a lot of wins. It's quick. Uh, it, it just was an unfortunate turn of events for the Orcs in this one. So, yeah, the, I mean, the battlefield was the same as the last battle report with some tweaks, but I overall, I really like this setup. That I, that's why we played two games on this one. I will come back to it eventually, but uh, we'll switch it up for the next battle report. All the terrain, uh, we have a Game Mat EU sponsorship review coming up, so be sure to watch that one if, if you use their product. And even if you don't, check it out. Um, and then we have a Grognard Games, our, our local game store. We're going to do a video on, on them as well. Uh, plus, plenty more battle reports to come. Of course, that's our favorite. We like shooting them. This is actually the second battle report now showing dice rolls. A little longer, you know, a minute, or not a minute, an hour and a half to an hour 40. With dice rolls, I, I really don't think there's any way to get around that if we want to show dice rolls. So hopefully you're enjoying the format. Um, you know, we, we try to tell you how many hits, how many wounds, uh, without actually just showing the dice box because you want to you want to see the models and all that kind of stuff too so let us know if you like that format uh we'll we'll do some other you know our quicker formats too in the future uh depending on who, who you know who the opponent is we might do some some more turn turn-based quicker matter reports uh, on some of these and then the dice rolls on, on some of these other ones but 
we are liking the thousand point battles for sure and i'm going to do a video about a thousand point battles just because i have a few thoughts that i don't think a lot of people play a thousand points um with um but i'll save that for another another video uh we've we found some things playing a thousand point battles that i think will help people uh you know if they're if they're just starting out or if they like this a thousand point format that might help uh if you haven't thought about it already you know it might something new to try so that is that uh thank you for watching like and subscribe as always if you enjoy the content and leave a comment um we, we definitely like talking to people uh, we had a, sh uh, a shout out. Uh, somebody wants to see Gene Sealer Cult. Um, Chris, uh, the Gene Sealer Cult player, he's coming back within a month. So we'll get some more Gene Sealer Cult action up on the boards, uh, hopefully with some Sisters Battle and some Tyranids as well. So, and then we have works in the works, actually, um, Imperial Knights versus Chaos Knights. We got a lot coming up in the future. So like and subscribe to check it all out. And uh, we will see you in the next one.